This video demonstrates the process of configuring a VCCM 600M or VCCM 600S product. In this example, we will be configuring a VCCM ABDD. It is advised to perform this operation on an ESD safe workbench. Insert the required modules into the transformer module connector. In this case, a module A into slot 1, a module B into slot 2, and a module D into slot 3 and slot 4. Next, rotate the unit upside down and insert the 8 screws into the bottom of the output modules through the base plate. Tighten to 0.5 Newton meters. This connection to the base plate ensures thermal conduction from the modules. The VCCM600 is the world's first conduction cooled modular power supply. Attach Quick Connect Terminal Accessories QCTs, to the output modules. This makes adjusting the voltage set points much easier, allowing for the use of shielded test leads with clips. These also allow for push fit connectors to be used, if desired, rather than screw terminals. Now we can plug in the input power connector. Be careful not to make contact with the input side of the unit from now on, as the unit is live. The input side of the unit should be isolated to ensure a safe configuration. LEDs will illuminate on the output modules to show that they are powered up. Next, set the voltage set points using a calibrated multimeter and potentiometer adjuster. The use of shielded test leads with clips prevents accidental shorting of the module terminals and ensures a good connection. The adjustment potentiometer on the VCCM600 modules are recessed into the top of the output module casing. Turning the potentiometer clockwise increases the voltage. Turning it anti-clockwise decreases the voltage. For this module in this configuration, set to 6 volts DC. Use the potentiometer adjuster and multimeter to adjust the other modules to the required voltage. In this case, 15 volts for slot 2 and 40 volts for slot 3 and slot 4. The final step in configuring the unit is to attach the output module links and current share cables as required. Prior to this, however, ensure that you disconnect AC input from the unit. For this example, we will be parallel connecting the module Bs in slot 3 and slot 4. This will give 40 volts output at 300 watts. Attach the two identical links and fasten with terminal screws. Next, insert cab CS2, which is the current share cable. Attach your AC input connection and your unit is ready to use. Please feel free to contact Vox Power for any further queries.